I'm Anne Emery. You're watching DataViz on the Go, the series where you learn DataViz time savers inside everyday software like Excel. And in this tutorial, you're going to learn all about tables, specifically bringing really boring black and white tables to life with quick DataViz wins. So here's our original that I saw as I was scrolling through LinkedIn recently, and it's about a really important topic, but the formatting, the really boring black and white table formatting, isn't doing it justice. It would take so much mental energy to read all of the locations and then read all of the numbers and then read all of the percent changes. So data viz to the rescue. I'm gonna show you some bare minimum edits and then I'm gonna brainstorm a bunch of visuals with you. And we're not gonna keep all the brainstorming ideas. I just wanna show you what's possible because you don't have this exact same table. I, I doubt you do, but you might have something really similar where you want to compare two points in time and then look at percent changes. So I'll show you a bunch of options there and we'll see which one that you like the best. Okay. So the first thing I had to do in this project was remake the table inside my Excel spreadsheet. And I kept the same formatting as before. So all of the areas were right aligned. All the numbers and percents were also right aligned. We had down to a decimal place, you know, same formatting as before. The barest of bare minimum edits would be, let's add gray horizontal lines so it's easier to read across. And another barest of bare minimum edits would be, we're gonna left align the text. There's research showing that left aligned words are faster to read than right aligned words, but we're gonna keep the numbers and percents on the right so that it's a little bit easier to compare the digits. Okay, so now let's brainstorm a bunch of visuals. We've got two points in time, why not trend lines? I don't love them here. I think they're really boring when they're just kind of flat. I think if you didn't even have the word here, people wouldn't even know what they're looking at. They'd probably think you have like scribble scrabble on your table. So I don't love these. I think these are a lot more effective when you've got like five or 10 years of data and you can see all the fluctuations and peaks and valleys as you go. But you know what? worth a brainstorm because every set of numbers would have a little bit different pattern here too. So maybe if you try this with your data set, they might look more interesting than this. Okay. Let's scroll down and look at some more ideas. I also tried visualizing the percent changes with deviation bars, just little bar charts that go to the right or the left, depending on the value. I use two different colors to correspond to the increases, which are, you know, a bad thing, and the decreases, which in this case, because we're talking about people living with HIV, that is a good thing. And then I just had the labels appear on either side. Oh, by the way, these, in case you have no idea what you're looking at, these are spark lines in Excel, and these are data bars in Excel with some if statements off to the left and right. I did a whole live stream making these. So if you want to watch the live stream and see like all the how to's go for it. Also, if you look below this video, you can download this Excel file too. So you can adapt it to your project. Or if you've got more how to questions, just comment below the video and I'll definitely help you out. Okay. So let's keep going with our viz brainstorming. We tried slopes. We tried deviation bars. I also tried check boxes to categorize whether it was an increase or you could just show the decreases here. I realize this is redundant with the data bars, but in the spirit of brainstorming, I thought it was important to add because who knows in your project, you might love this. You might have just a, you know, half increases, half decreases. It might be a more interesting pattern here. Another thing I tried, I hope you love this too, is I added state icons off to the left. They're not huge. It's not a map. We don't have to put everything that's a location in a regular old geographic map. Sometimes the important thing is, you know, like in this case, the percent change is, is pretty important. That's the apples to apples comparison, right? So I kept the states just in medium gray. They're the sidekick. They're not the star of the show. I added those because there's research showing that icons make our visuals more memorable. So I, I try to add icons wherever I can. And speaking of icons, another place we could add them is the arrows up here, just to reinforce what we're even looking at. Percent changes are not easy for non-data people to understand. That's just a tricky term in general. So I just wanted to reinforce, like, we've got arrows going to either side. That's how increases and decreases work, okay, with the same colors as before. 
Now that we've done all the brainstorming, we're going to narrow it down. And these are the ones that I think were the best ones. I really like the state icons. I, I just love these. I think there's such nice quick wins. These are the state face font, by the way, in case you haven't seen these before. They're just linked, you know, behind the scenes. Again, you can download the spreadsheet or comment below the video. I'll tell you how to add those. And I really like the icons here. And the deviation bars made a lot of sense. I think the others, like these two columns, worth a try, but not the winning design, in my opinion. Okay, let's resize the table then, because it's got a lot of awkward white space right here. I just resize the columns so that, you know, the icons are closer to the state name. This one's narrower, that one's wider, etc. I also, so many things in public health are so... Um, depressing, right? Like some things are getting better, but then some things are getting worse. Fu the funding situation obviously is, is getting worse. The policy situation is getting way worse. So I didn't want to just focus on all the bad news. I wanted to show you an alternative, the more like optimist, the not so Debbie Downery view of the chart. Do you see the differences? This one, the really pessimistic one has the biggest increases, which like for people living with HIV increase is bad in this case, right? It's got the biggest increases first in red. And this one has the good news first, the decreases in Puerto Rico. There's fewer adults living with HIV uh, in 2022 compared to 2013. Okay. I also played around with the colors. I decided to just focus on the good news. Instead of having a whole overwhelmingly red graph, I just made it a medium gray. People can still see it. It's just not like so, like so negative, so much red in your face. And I also tried changing around the icons. I tried a check and a X. Check meaning good, obviously. X meaning not. You know, just a little variation on the arrows. The arrows are factually correct, mathematically correct. I just wanted to show more of like the meaning that down is good rather than just down. Okay. I usually do design like this. I just do one tweak at a time so that me and my clients that I'm working with, they can see all these changes and they can kind of see the logic of how I ended up at the final design. Okay, again, you can download the spreadsheet if you like, or just comment below with your questions and I might even make a YouTube video showing you how to do some of these details.